Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we are going to be using some markers to draw some winter mittens. So here we go. So you are going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and your handy dandy hands. And with your pencil, you are going to trace around your hand so you can keep your hand closed or your fingers closed and trace a big shape around your hand and your thumb down to the bottom of your paper. Then you can switch hands and again use your pencil to trace around your hand while it's closed. This was a little hard for me because I am not left-handed, but I tried my best and just did a big shape around my hands. Next, we're gonna add a couple of lines to our mittens so that we can add some color and pattern. So I'm drawing a line at the bottom, and then I am going to start drawing some lines in the middle. So I'm going to start by kind of dividing off the thumb from the other parts of the mitten, just by drawing a little curve line down here. And then we can start adding in those stripes to our mitten. When I'm adding these stripes to my mittens, I don't want them to be too thin. We don't wanna have like 20 stripes. We wanna have some bigger, chunky stripes. That way we have some room to add some patterns with our markers. Another thing to consider when you're adding these stripes is that you want your right mitten to look just like your left mitten. So we want the same amount of stripes on your right as your left, and we want them to be mostly in the same place. Once you've finished with your pencil, you can choose a marker to outline your mittens. I would choose one color for the outline of both mittens. So here I chose purple, and I'm just giving my mittens a big, bold purple outline. And you can choose whatever color you would like for your mittens. Okay, so after you have outlined your mittens with one color, then you can start choosing other colors to add for your stripes and think about some patterns that you can include in your mittens. And so also remember that what we do to one mitten, we want to do to the other mitten. So whatever pattern you add to one, make sure you add that same pattern to the other side. So I'm going to keep using some more colors and patterns in the stripes of my mittens. You can use whatever pattern you would like. These patterns can be lines or shapes or different um, colors. It's really up to you what you want to design your mittens like. Just remember when you are adding these patterns and different colors to your mittens, that whatever you do to the right side, you gotta do to the left side also. So these are gonna be almost symmetrical. Symmetrical is a fancy art word that means one side looks just like the other side. So our mittens are gonna be sort of symmetrical because the right mitten will have the same pattern in the same place as our left mitten. So after you get done adding your colors and patterns with your markers, you can be done here. But the next step of this video is for if you have a paintbrush at home and want to add a little bit of water to kind of turn this into a painting instead. 
If you have a paintbrush and a cup of water, that's all you need if you want to turn this into like a painting. And I'll show you how to do that. You'll wanna dip your paintbrush into your little cup of water and then you can add your wet paintbrush on top of those markers. When you put the wet paintbrush on top of your markers, it kind of wakes up that marker and turns the marker into paint. So you can use this um, technique to add some little areas of paint or if you want to paint the whole thing, you can. All you need to do is just add a little bit of water and once the water touches the markers, it kind of turns it into a liquidy paint. It's really pretty. If you decide to turn your marker drawing into a painting, the one thing you need to remember is that you gotta use this water and paintbrush on one section and one color at a time. We don't wanna take our wet paintbrush and paint over our entire mitten because then all of those beautiful marker colors will mix together and turn into a nasty brown kind of color. So make sure you just do one section at a time and wash your brush in between and then you will have beautiful colored painted mittens. So like I said, you don't have to add the water with a paintbrush if you don't want to. You can just leave it as a beautiful marker drawing. Either way, I can't wait to see the final product.